Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It has been a little while as I have been very busy with the last year within my engineering degree. As you might know I am designing and building a new milling machine. The plan is to make this machine semi CNC where I can program operations into my own software and user interface. Today I am going to make the housing of the control panel or user interface. And in a next video I will do all the electronics on this part, which will be quite complicated. This is the 3D model I made for the housing. I am going to 3D print this housing in PLA on my Ender 3 V2. The printing didn't really go to plan. At first I tried printing the front half in one part. But the settings were completely wrong and besides that my printer screwed up after about 10 hours. Then I decided to print this part in different layers, to glue them together, which worked in the end, but still I wasted a lot of filament, partially my own fault, but also because of printer faults. The other half of the housing did print correctly, but it took a solid 14 hours. For some reason one of the edges on the housing did not print very well. It looks to be a hardware problem on the printer. For now I will just fix it with some putty, as I will respray the housing anyway. After applying two layers of putty, I will install the threaded inserts, as I will need these to line up the two holes for sanding. These inserts are pretty useful. This is the first time I use them, and I am sure I will use them in future projects as well. It is important to print a correct diameter hole, and then I just apply the heat with a soldering iron to let them sink in place, making sure to keep them straight. After screwing the two holes together, I can start the process of sanding. After painting, it turned out that I could have done a much better job at the putty and sanding, but then again I'm no painter and it will work in the end. I actually didn't show any of the painting, as I used the paint booth I have available at work. I used a normal primer for this purpose, but it might be worth it to get the filler primer spray cans to get a better finish in combination with some sanding. This will work out much better for 3D prints.
After a lot of sanding and spray painting, this is the result. I know it could be prettier, but it's all about the functionality. In one of the following videos, I will put all of these components in and wire everything up, as well as trying to get some life out of the LCD screen. I am finally finding some more time to create videos. So please consider subscribing and leave a comment or like to support me. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.